Hi, so today I have three powerful tools for you for how to get the most out of online presentations. So first up is how you sound because you have to sound great in order to hold people's attention. Let's start with the first thing. You want to choose which words to emphasize. We're not going to make all words equal. We're going to emphasize certain words and that means we can put energy into certain words. So there'll be a few words in every sentence that you just want to bring out or make pop a little as I'm doing now, as I did with the word pop. So put your energy into those words and if you've got your presentation written down, just underline it. If you're doing a more broad off the cuff presentation, then write down the three key ideas you know you want them to walk away with. Get those ideas, write those down, those have to pop. Okay, so next up in terms of your first tool of how to sound engaging, you need to use pauses and you need to deliver your ideas. What's really important is that you don't talk and talk and talk and your words run away with you and then people just lose track. So instead, get the sense that you're delivering an idea at a time and that will really help you to engage and keep your listeners' attention. Third up, you need to put color in your voice. And you can see I just did it over the word color rather than color. So we want to make things sound interesting. Speaking in units allows you to have more time, more energy to put some color into those words. So making little pauses, where are you gonna put a pause in? And then making sure that each unit of your thought is filled with a little bit of color. So that's how to sound engaging, that's tool number one. Right, tool number two, your body has to tell the same story. So body-wise, we want you to have your shoulders back and to do that, you can simply stroke your shoulders back. You can lengthen between your ear and your neck just to make sure your posture is good. We don't want people coming on like this to give a presentation, it's a switch off. So we wanna have our body open and ready and also let yourself use your gestures. Just bring your hands in, even if they can't see it, it will help your whole body be energized it will help your mind, believe it or not, be more articulate and creative in coming up with thoughts. And the other effect of using your body in gestures is that your voice will sound more resonant and warm. So really make sure you're engaging your body. Finally, on the nonverbal, you want to be using your face. So have some facial activity going on, a bit of a smile, a bit of bright eyes. If we go sort of dull, dull eyes, dull face like I'm doing now, then people will just switch off. So you wanna be kind of activating your face. We need to work that bit harder with virtual communication to make sure we really hold people's attention because there is so much to compete with outside of their computer screen. So making sure that you're alive physically is really important. Next up is content. So tool one, how you sound, tool two, what your body's saying, tool three, content. How do you get the content right to really engage in a virtual presentation? Well, you need to be adding a bit of spice. So whatever your key three ideas are or your objective is or your mini objectives that support your overall objective, each one of those needs to have a bit of spice. And by spice, I mean some metaphors, some personal perspective, a story, an insight that occurred to you, something that brings an element of uniqueness to it. That's our spice. So it's uh, one thing to say, let's say I walked into, um, I, a man walked into a room, sat down on the chair and asked for a sandwich. Or a large man dressed in, long overflowing clothes that didn't quite fit him, walked in with an air of weariness about him, slumped into the chair, and in a hoarse croak requested a sandwich. Which one is more intriguing? So we're wanting to bring in color into the description, metaphor, stories. That 
really is it. In terms of wrapping up on a final bonus tip, you want to be curating your square, which means you have a small space to work with to present yourself as well as your presentation. You want to be working that space, making sure that it's um, visually appealing and delightful and representative of you. Um, and that goes for how you dress and how you come across and how your hair looks, etc. as well. So just making sure that if you're doing a presentation, your background is giving the message that you want it to give consistent with your overall messaging. That's it for today. I hope this works for you. Use them, let us know how they help you and we hope to be working with you soon. Keep a lookout for more tips to come.